Training Plus from Combined Knowledge gives you on-demand access to premium training created and delivered by product experts. Courses are recorded in easily digestible modules and are augmented for concise delivery and effective learning, allowing users to train at their own pace and revisit any section at any time. This five minute sample is taken from the SharePoint 2013 super user track, Finding Information. Discover more at combined-knowledge.com. Welcome to Finding Information. My name's Rob, and during this lesson, we're gonna to talk to you about using SharePoint Navigation and SharePoint Search. SharePoint Navigation is a very important thing to understand. It allows us to navigate around an existing SharePoint environment and find information confidently. Although SharePoint Navigation will be important to us, if you've got access to lots of SharePoint sites, it's also useful to understand SharePoint Search. SharePoint Search will allow you to search across large numbers of sites to find information quickly. Before we start searching, what we need to do is first of all think about how search fits in within a SharePoint environment. So a lot of people think about SharePoint as being a single large area where we can store and share information across an organization. In reality, SharePoint is not just one big, large area, it actually breaks down in a very structured way. One of the major elements within a SharePoint structure is SharePoint sites. So, if you think about a department, a typical department might wish to store and share information that relates just to that department. So, a good example would be someone like a sales department or a sales team. So, a sales team or department might have their site. Finance department might have their site and perhaps the human resources department have their site as well. By breaking things down in this way, it helps us find our information. Within the scenarios that we're going to cover today, we're going to go into a sales team site for our scenario. And within there, we're going to show you how to search. You can see on the demonstration screen now that I'm actually starting off from the sales team site. What we're going to do to begin with here is head up to the top right hand corner of the screen and we're going to perform a basic search just by typing in the word train, which is what we're looking for. When we click the magnifying glass at the top right hand corner of the screen, we can see the results set appears very, very quickly. We're going to pretend for now that there's more results here than I really care to look through. There's too many results. So by adding an additional word to the search, we can narrow down the result set. The reason that that narrows, narrows down the results is we've gone through and we've performed an AND search. So we're searching for documents that contain both the word train and the word London. If that's not what you'd expected, what you might prefer to do is add the word OR into your search. What that does is reverses the logic. So that opens up the search and we're now going to see within the results set everything that contains the word train and we're also going to see everything that contains the word London. So if it contains one of those words, it will appear in our results set. Something to look out for when you're using that technique is that the word OR has to be in capital letters. If you type it in in lowercase, it does not work as we've just demonstrated. So in capital letters, it will always work. So what we're going to do now is move on slightly and we're going to show you how to use wildcard characters. So what that means for us is we can perform searches for things like begins with. So in this case we've ser searched for T with a star on the end of it, so that's anything that begins with a T. One of the great things that happens here is within the results it shows you why those items have appeared. So we can see uh, train, trains, travel. One of the things we've picked out there is there's a lot of product codes that begin with TR. So what we've done is just change the search criteria to TR9 with a little star on the end still. So it's now looking for everything that begins with that part of a product code. So you can see how when you've performed a search, often that's your first step. It's quite normal to perform maybe a second or a third search to make your results more and more specific. All of the searches that we've performed so far have been performed across the entire site using the search box at the top right hand corner of the site. What we're going to do now is show you how to search lower down within the site structure. 
What we're going to do is head into a library within the site. So a library is an area to store documents and information. We can see within that library, there's a second search box. Performing a search using that search box searches only the content of that library. So it's searching on a smaller scale. There is one further level that we can search at, and that's within folders. So here we've navigated into a folder, and in this case we're searching just for the number two. And we can see again it narrows down the search results, showing just the items that match whatever it is that you've searched for. In summary, search is available at the site level, the library level, and the folder level. By searching lower down in the structure, it allows you to search specific parts of the SharePoint environment. So, for example, if there was a library within your SharePoint environment and you knew that the report you were looking for was contained somewhere in that library amongst maybe 100 documents, by navigating to that library and performing a search just within that one library, you're making the search quicker and easier. If you were to say, mm, I have no idea where the document is, it's somewhere in this site, you're better off then searching at the site level and allowing the search system to crawl through all of the different libraries for you. So depending on how much you know about the current location of the document, these different levels of search can be useful. If in doubt, I would tend to search at the site level because that, that gives you the best coverage. By searching at that higher level, it's going to search through more areas. So if you really don't know where the document is, that site level search is the one to go for. Also remember you can use wildcards. So for example, we searched for a TR and a star to find everything that had this product code that began with T and R. So that was a useful tip. And finally, you can use the word or to change the way that search um, behaves. So by default, if you type two or three words into the search box all in one go, it's going to work with an and behavior. So it's going to look for train and London. They both have to be in a document or page for it to appear in your search results. By using the word or, it reversed that logic.